Hey Libras, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're gonna be taking a look at your first half of June general reading here. So what a meditation, first of all. Um, I saw a lion uh, walking through a, okay, this is a very specific reference, but just go with me here. There is an episode of Star Trek Next Generation where uh, Data and Geordi kind of enter into the, like they have a computer program on the holodeck where they can go and be whatever story they want and, and take place and it's kind of like a recreational virtual reality game to like the next level right so they go into the world of Sherlock Holmes where they're there to like solve mysteries and take part in that story so I saw the lion walking through that program from Star Trek Next Generation like walking through the land of Sherlock Holmes and it was all black and white and then I saw, but no one else was there. It was like an empty town, like London Street. And then I saw the lion jump up into like um, the top of a building and be still and turn to stone. So it looked like part of like the structure of one of the, like the London buildings. And then I saw like the wheel of time turn really, 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 really fast. And it, like it fast forward through time. And then I saw this statue of the lion break apart and from it emerged a little kitten. And the kitten was sitting there like fresh and brand new. And then I saw the words precious moments, which <laughs> really, really, really interesting. Um, I am really interested to see what your cards have to say. Let's take a look. Hey, Libras. Let's go ahead and see what your animal energy is for the first half of June. What is the animal energy for the first? Oh. oh, very, very good. I like this a lot. So the owl, this is really beautiful. So the owl equates to the 10 of cups slash the high priestess in the tarot, right? But this is about emotional fulfillment and happiness. And then also, well, first of all, I have to point out, do you remember when I said the lion was walking through a black and white scene like Sherlock Holmes, which is about what solving mysteries and seeing things. Sherlock Holmes saw things that nobody else did, right? And it's interesting because the owl is about seeing things, right? This is about seeing things in the darkness just as well as during the day. You know, like Ted Andrews says in his Animal Speak book, the sun lives through the owl at night, which means that it sees just as well as night as it does during the daytime. So this is about clarity perspective how we see things how we see ourselves and others that leads to our emotional fulfillment and happiness and purpose this is incredibly auspicious then of course we're linked to the high priestess which is about really tapping into our intuition and our subconscious aspects in order to glean all of the information that is only accessible um, if we do go within and access those darker parts that aren't necessarily evident or visible in the light of day or on the surface, right? Also, it is always very auspicious when you get an animal energy that shares your same element. So of course you are air signs and the owl is an air energy. So it's very auspicious as well. I love it when the owl comes up because it's like casting a warm fuzzy glow over the whole reading, right? It's really, really beautiful. Let's see what's going on. Ah, oh, wow. Ooh, look what's on the bottom. Strength is on the bottom. Look at that lion. That's what I saw in your meditation. That big old lion turned to kitten. Wow, death. So fascinating Scorpio energy here. What's really amazing about this is that death is about endings and beginnings, right? It's, it's things ending so that new things can begin and emerge. It's about transformation. This is also highly auspicious. But what's really interesting about, I keep going back to this lion that, that was turned into a kitten and then like precious moments. It's really fascinating here. But endings and beginnings. And then also the black and white. Do you see the parallel? Really beautiful, very powerful. Definitely a time of transition, <laughs> for sure. But it feels really good. It feels like happy transition. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Oh my God, I just got shivers. I literally just got shivers. Look at that cat. Look at that cat. And we just had that line on the bottom of the deck. It's gone now. I think they shuffle, but oh my God. Like all the feline energy, right? It's really popping. Um, the page of wands is so beautiful. So we have fire energy here. I also want to point out the fact the mirror of this kid 
holding up the flowers to the Death Rider. And then we have this kid waving hello with fire and fire. That's interesting here. So Page of Wands is, again, fire energy, right? So Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. But Page of Wands is very much about that childlike energy. It's that new energy. It's that beginner's energy, right? So we're looking at the end, the death, the ending of, of something, and the beginning of something else. And we have them back to back, which makes this transition a lot easier. <laughs> when the new thing or the or the step outside of the transition point is adjacent, it's it's a lot easier, it just is, right? Than having to walk through the the badlands of the unknown for, <laughs> for an unknown amount of time, right? Page of Wands is about new ventures. Now the wands are about the actions that we do or don't take around the work that we love to do, or about the interpersonal relationships about which we're passionate, right? So then we have the page of wands here, which speaks of something new. Something new beginning, a new beginning. But it's it's fascinating as well that it has this cat here, right? And we saw the lion turn into the cat. And the, the lion, you can look at it this way, that the lion turned to stone and died and then was reborn a kitten. So this is Something is being transformed, okay. Something is being transformed. Also, you know, I have an animal that that is aligns with each sign of the zodiac. You guys, if you know me at all, like say it with me now, like you guys are the butterfly. So there is an element, an inherent aspect or element of change within your energy anyway, Libras. You also, one of the things that I love about Libra energy, you guys are known as the social butterflies for, for a very good reason. There, you have this ability to have a lightness of being that others really benefit from, where your energy isn't one of the heavier ones, right? You can get heavy just like anyone else, and there's other sign placements, but when you guys are in alignment, you have a way of making other people feel like they matter, um, like, like, like they matter to you. Like, even if you don't know them, that they're important, that, that when you talk to them, they're, you know, they're the most important person in the room. That is a rare gift. That is a very beautiful aspect of your energy that I feel like is coming through for you here. It's, it's going to come into play in some way, shape or form. But this page of wands energy is also about courage, being brave. This represents writers as well, but this is about forging ahead on a new path uh, with bravery and courage and gumption, right? It's really beautiful here. Endings and new beginnings. Back to back like that. I like it. What else is going on? Uh, okay, I just got shivers. It's another cat. <laughs> wow. By the way, cats are related to listening to your intuition and being connected, as is the owl, which we already talked about. As is Scorpio energy, which is death, right? So two of wands here. So it's more wands. Really nice that we're going from the page to the two. Do you see how it's like he's waving to this guy and he's like, oh, hey, see you in a minute. <laughs> so two of wands is very much about the details, the facts and the figures and building a strong foundation so that you are ready when opportunity presents itself. And this, do you see the way that this is like laid out? like endings that lead to new beginnings. And you have a new beginning right here on the back of that with this cat right here next to you, which is like this, you are moving on the path informed by your intuition and your feeling. It feels incredibly positive, which leads you into the two of wands, which is like you're you're going down this path steadily and, and building a foundation from which to move from all the time, having the support and ever presence of your intuition. This is, this is really something else, Libras. I really, really like it. I really, really like it. Let's go ahead and get some advice for you. It feels, it feels A, B, C, X, Y, Z, one, two, three. Really, like, it really feels like bada bing, bada bing. Like it really feels that way. I'm also hearing those, those words that I saw in your meditation about precious moments. I, I, I'm really drawn to the child with this because it is pretty precious. The the image of this kid with this beautiful wand with flowers on it, like with this cat walking. I mean, it's it's cute. Like the cat is going with you. You know what I mean? It's really, it, it's sweet. There's something about this that speaks of companionship and having really good companionship around you. But also there's this aspect of this that, that you, you're going to have this knowing incorporating the owl energy here as well this knowing that the path that you're on is one to be excited for 
and it's only a matter of time before the ships come in is response to you forging ahead on that path with with courage and faith and excitement right but this is transition something's ended and going down a new path that is very very clear let's go ahead and get your advice you know with the lion and then it to oh my god oh my you're kidding me let me just say this, then I'll show you what this is. <laughs> You're not ready for this, but I'm, but you are. I mean, you know, <laughs> the lion, you know, it was fully formed and fully grown and it lived out its best life. And then it went and, and transformed into a cat. So it's, it's still a feline, but it's in a different form, right? It was almost like it was reborn or reincarnated, right? There's something about a reincarnation of your experience. And it, it, it I feel like it's related to the work that you do. Um, or a certain relationship that you're very passionate about. It feels it feels so positive. And I, I see someone winking at me. Like it feels like it's it's very auspicious and you're gonna feel this. Your advice is the six of wands. More wands, by the way. This is victory, success, public recognition. This is feeling like da da da, -da like this is saying is your advice, like, go, 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 go ahead. Your success is assured. Listen, whatever you are passionate about, especially as it relates to work that you do or, or your passion projects that you would like to become your full-time work or monetize your talents, whatever this is, go forward, take a risk, be bold. The time is now and your success is assured, whatever this is. This is absolutely beautiful. It really is. It's absolutely beautifully stunning. When your advice is six of wands, it's like, like the person at the, you know, who's directing the plane. It's like straight ahead, go like stick the land. It's like, it's so, so beautiful. Wow. Let's get an Oracle for you. I'm feeling the vintage. It, it's so, you know what I want to say? I want to say it's uncomplicated. <laughs> It's uncomplicated. There are aspects of your experience that have felt complicated or felt like it's involved a lot of moving parts. That's about to shift. And suddenly the way is going to be very clear and it, it feels incredibly, incredibly positive. Let's go ahead and get more. Cool. Wow. 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 Okay. Do you remember the animal that you are? The butterfly? And then we have the butterfly wings here on the fairies. I like that's coming up for you. So here we have compassion. So I want to talk about this. First of all, do you remember what I said about you as Libra's kind of your superpower is allowing others to feel like they're the most important person in the room or feeling like they, they matter? Right, or that they, they are given space and that they feel better after talking to you. And then we have like this person here, like listening to this other person who's going to them for, for help or compassion, advice, whatever. And then the two butterfly wings here. You know, I feel like there's a double meaning in this because I feel like on one hand, there's an aspect of the lion, you know, that, that's kind of going down and, and ending before this new thing, the cat can emerge as it were. I'm hearing to have compassion for everywhere that you've been that's led you down this new path and to have compassion for the aspects of yourself or your journey that, that want to be, you know, I, I don't wanna say mourned. I don't wanna say it's a funeral. I wanna say it's a celebration of a new life, but that's what this feels like to me. And having compassion for the aspects of your journey or your relationships that are, you know, wanting to transform into something else. But I also feel like this has to do, again, speaking to your superpower of your ability to provide that kind of heart-centered feeling for people that you interact with. So there's something about that as well. But again, with that lion kind of having to die in order for this new, you know, when I think about when we go, we, let's just look at the aspect of the lion and the cat, right? So the lion is undomesticated, right? It's, it's wild. It's free. It's, it's the king of the jungle, right? It's all of that. And then we have the cat, which is highly domesticated, right? 
and and it's it's an it's almost like a domesticated aspect of the lion, right? But we can also look at this as the lion being, you know, parts of us that are, you know, uninhibited and wild and free. And then we, over time, have evolved into cats, right? It's kind of like a natural evolution where you've taken all of that past experiences and you've turned it into or you reincarnated as the aspect of yourself that is directly linked to your intuition and is able to uniformly follow what you know to be right for you. Because if you think about it, like, like lions, that kind of archetype, that kind of wild like energy versus the cat that has this like coming, coming across as this new, you know, energy that can be directed, somewhat trained and focused, right? So it's, it's interesting, but it feels like a very happy and natural progression, right? Yeah, but this compassion very much feels like the, the aspect of this, the death that, that's that's ending and something new is beginning. I actually feel like getting um another oracle. I want to get, I've been using these. I'm really obsessed. I want to get one for you. It's the uh, Feathered Messenger Oracle. Let's get one. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. Perfect. Blackbird. The magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now. Indeed, with the six of wands, you better believe. The magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now. I feel like that's really important. <laughs> the untapped potential with the transformation from the from the lion to the cat. This is something that you can work with and take with you. You know what I mean? The cat travels well, not so much the lion. <laughs> So that that's interesting in and of itself. But this is so, so beautiful. Again, showing compassion to the, the parts of your experience that want to die or transform or change in favor of this new path ahead because inherently change is difficult. So compassion around that is, is always going to be helpful. And then also a nod to your butterfly selves and that effect you have on others. I feel like that could be directly related for some of you in this new path ahead. And then the blackbird, the magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now that directly equates to the page of wands which graduates rather organically into the two of wands where you're you're starting out on this new path with courage and gumption and then going right into building that strong foundation from which so much more will grow but that ship coming in it's so so beautiful Libras and I am so here for it. With that being said, I'm sending you so many blessings for the first half of June. I so hope that this helps and resonates and if so, please do let me know in the comments below because I love, love reading your comments. Please like, please share, please subscribe. I absolutely appreciate that so, so much and with that being said, just thank you. Thank you so, so much for being here and most of all and as always, thank you for being you and be well. Until next time.